regarding a bris, which is in, in, in English translated as circumcision, but it also means covenant. It's a covenant between whoever. In this case, when a child is circumcised, it's a covenant between the child, the parents, and God. In Judaism, the first circumcision we find as someone being circumcised for the purpose of connecting with God is Abraham. Abraham went through a lot in his life and he had a very difficult challenge and so he came to a point in his life that he'd achieved whatever he could achieve. And at that point, God said he should circumcise himself and all future generations. What does this circumcision represent? Is circumcision really necessary? And can one connect with God without circumcision? Essentially, to live a life in the world we live in, one needs a circumcision. The spiritual concept and idea of circumcision is circumcising one's heart. And so the circumcision of the physical represents a circumcision of the spiritual to remove a blockage. And that's why there are certain diseases that will not come to a person that's circumcised because they vibrate in a different way and they don't connect with certain negative issues. So, circumcision is important, but when the Jews were in the desert for 40 years, we find they did not circumcise themselves. So even though there is a law and God says circumcise, apparently there must be times where God says you don't need to circumcise yourself. What are those times? And how does that apply? Some say the reason they didn't circumcise themselves in the desert is because they were traveling. And when you're traveling, the law is that you're not allowed to circumcise yourself because it could be dangerous while you're traveling. The truth is, they weren't traveling for 40 years. You don't need 40 years to get through the desert. They were encamped, for example, at Mount Sinai for 19 years. They were encamped most of the time, so they could have easily done it. Why didn't they do it? Kabbalistically, it's because the spiritual revelation of where the people were was so open. They were in a physical body, but their openness was so much that there was no blockage. So they didn't have to circumcise themselves to remove a blockage, because they were open anyway. And the same thing it says about Mashiach in the future, that in the future when everything will be open, we'll see God, we'll see the Creator in everything, then circumcision won't be necessary because there won't be any blockage. So we won't need to do a physical thing in order to remove a blockage. So the bris is a very good example of how we connect with God that we have in this world, we have laws, we have boundaries, we have things we need to do. A lot of these things are there because of the world we live in. The balances, the imbalances, the positive, the negative, the protections we need, or because of the shifts and changes that occur. But essentially they don't need to be that way. It's only because where we are. And a lot of what Moses told the Jewish people and a lot of the customs and laws are done because of where we are in our lives. But to connect with God, essentially, if one transcends it all, one is connected. One doesn't need to be in all the imbalances and balances that occur. It's just our circumstance. And in the circumstance we have, God says, don't worry. I'm there with you. I know it's difficult. I know this chaos. I know this confusion. But I'm giving you ways to connect with me, ways to find me. And one of the ways 
that God says for all of us, for each one of us, is to be able to have a circumcision for a boy. And as you know, men are usually more in a blockhead. They're usually more uh, stuck in the way they think. Women are usually much more open. So women don't need a physical circumcision. It's the male that needs it. And therefore, a male is given that at childbirth so that the whole life it makes them more open to receiving and doing things that connect with God and with the Creator. And this is one of the reasons we have circumcision. It's because of where we are and what we need. And that's why in Hebrew it's not called circumcision, it's called covenant, a bris, a connection. And this connection makes us healthy in our bond with the Creator because we have a physical way that we show this bond. Even though a child has no choice in being a baby and has no choice what the adults do to them, which is a subject on its own in regard to education, in regard to other things that happen to children, but it doesn't have cho much choice, so this is something that happens to a child in order to give it more power, that even though the parents are going to be teaching words and teaching the child to be physical, they do an act that makes a child spiritual, which is why there are also other customs that people do for children to help them be more open spiritually, to protect their energies, to keep them open, that as they grow, the elements in this world shouldn't block their energy and block their minds or block their hearts. And we will also therefore talk about food and how food blocks and about education and many other subjects that are associated with this. But today we're talking about circumcision and this is a little base for that.